There is a word that can take us higher. There is a word that can soothe our soul. Heal our hearts and fill all desires. It's a word that can make us whole. Shalom. Shalom. There is a word that can move tall mountains and raise a valley up to the sky. It sings all songs and paints all pictures. It raises our souls up high. Shalom, 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 shalom. Shalom, I am Rabbi Shaul Praver. You're watching Rabbi Rock. After the Holocaust, the whole world said, never again. Never again will we allow genocide to happen. Never again will we allow, with such cruelty, life to be snubbed out. And it would be nice to say that we fulfilled that in the world. You just heard a song about shalom, peace in the world. And peace is so far away because right now in the Sudan there's genocide taking place. And even though that we meant it when we said never again, it seems like it's hard to stop genocide when a country is determined to do it. And today we have five lovely, bright, 
students from the Newtown High School. They're also members of the Trinity Church here in Newtown, where Kathy Adam Shepherd is the minister and Sue Vogelman is their youth director. And they've come with their mentor, Carol Zimmerman. Other mentors of theirs is Maureen Trotto and Tim Vogelman. And uh, with no further ado, we're going to talk about this subject of the Lost Boys of Sudan, and I'm going to let them tell you the story. First, let me uh, introduce our five uh, lovely young ladies. We have over here um, to my left uh, Jackie Houlihan. Welcome, Jackie. It's great to have you here at Rabbi Rockin. Thank you. Appreciate your time. <laughs> and then um, we have um, Elise Benedict, um, well, very knowledgeable young ladies. Um, Ellen Tabler. Um, welcome. Thank you. And um, Anna Hamietz Panetto. Hi. Okay. <laughs> and Maggie Houlihan. Hi. Thank you again, you know, really for being here. I really commend you for the work that you've done and you continue to do. As you know, the state of Connecticut um, divested from the Sudanese government based on a documentary that some students from the Gates School produced um, regarding the genocide in uh, Sudan. And unfortunately, um, we're not here for a different kind of programming. We're here because the genocide is still going on. And uh, I'd like to uh, call on um, Anna to you know, tell us a little bit about uh, what are the Lost Boys of Sudan? What's it all about? Um, well, the Lost Boys of Sudan were a group of uh, young boys um, age five, and five to ten and up. Um, and they traveled from Sudan um, to uh, the refugee camp in Kenya called Kakuma Refugee Camp. They traveled on foot, right? Yes, that's correct. Um, and um, we're here today because we want to talk about and get people aware of the situation that's um, in, Sudan, in southern Sudan right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I noticed that you're all wearing this necklace, and I see a foot yep. on, the, um, on yep. the necklace. So that, of course, is to convey the idea that they walked on, you know, by foot. Where did they go first? Um, well, they fled from their homes um, in so from southern Sudan to a uh, refugee camp in Ethiopia. Um, but that refugee uh, camp closed down, and uh, they then traveled to um, the Kakuma refugee camp in um, Kenya. Mm. And that um, was a total of a thousand miles that they that they wow. walked together. Wow. Now, um, how many were there in total? at the beginning of this march, and how many were there at the end? Any, any of you can jump in for this question. Well, they started with 30,000 um, boys from all over southern Sudan, mm. and um, by the end of their 1,000-mile uh, journey, there were only 10,000 left. Wow. Um, there were many hardships along the way. Um, they were fired upon, and. Uh, some of the younger boys were lost in the rivers they had to cross. Mm -hmm. uh, many of them starved to death, mm -hmm. um, were eaten by wild animals. Mm -hmm. um, it was very scary for them, but they developed strong bonds with each other along the way. Um, some of the older boys, who were really not that old at all, um, like bonded with the younger boys mm -hmm. and helped take care of them. Wow. They take care of each other. What a beautiful, I mean, sad, but beautiful story. Yeah. Of hope and survival. You know, I'd like to play one of those clips that you brought in uh, with you on a DVD. Let's let's play clip number one and, and really see what what that's like. 